alignment between curriculum. When you change curriculum, you need to change textbooks. Exactly. You need to change a teacher's training. You need to change the teaching methods. For the first step, before we change the English teaching, we need to change the motivation. You probably don't know that every time we recruit new teachers for science and maths, it's very hard to get those who pass the exams. So, welcome to Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yotas, but as your host. Education has perhaps been the single most formidable obstacle Thailand must overcome quickly, so the country has the resources to drive an engine of growth to catch up with the world. After the case of underperforming successive governments had treated the rendering of quality education as momentous task, supported by astronomical budget spending. It should be noted that the Education Ministry received the single largest chunk of funding each year. For the 2016 fiscal year, the Ministry has been allocated up to 520 billion baht, up from just over 300 billion baht in 2008. Our guest for Thailand today is Dr. Thirakiet Jaren Sethasin. He is the Deputy Education Minister who will walk us through on the education reform to benefit Thai learners and students. Please welcome Dr. Thirakiet Jaren Sethasin, Deputy Education Minister. Minister of Education, Swadika. Swadika. Very most welcome to Thailand today, sir. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, the very important topic we're talking about today is about education in Thailand, which has been a single most formidable obstacle in this country. So we have a, a deputy minister right here. So we've been taking deep sign when people talk about Thailand education especially me, we always thinking like that. So they talk about ranking, yes. that we are so low, we are so down. What is your opinion, sir? I think we have a lot to learn mm. from the ranking yes. uh, agencies. Mm. There are so many. Yes. The credible ones like PISA mm. mm -hmm. actually has taught us a lot. Mm. But we need to know what they're ranking about. Mm. Uh, for instance, PISA is ranking us on uh, subjects like science, uh, mathematics and reading okay. uh, so we need to take that into consideration mm. some ranking agencies just uh, do surveys on opinions uh, so we Not have to reality. no mm. so we need to take some ranking agencies as a pinch of salt mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but again it's a mm -hmm. piece of information mm. uh, but you you have to remember the ranking is not accountable to the quality of education. Mm -hmm. Who is accountable to the quality of education? The Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. the people in the country, yes. schools, teachers, mm -hmm. parents. So uh, when we learn about the ranking, we should not be disheartened that we are low. Mm -hmm. But when we take it, we take it very seriously, what mm -hmm. we can learn from it. Mm -hmm. You, uh, this with new government, but present government, yes. uh, we mm -hmm. have really high hopes. Yes. You have you as a policy maker. Okay. So what is actually the new policy or the policy that we can rely on? Now we have to learn from various reforms mm. that have taken place around many countries in the world. Mm -hmm. One thing I must remind everybody, yeah. because in the rush to uh -huh. reform, uh -huh. we are often involved in so many projects. Yes, sir. And in fact, one... Uh, if you like one academic, mm. uh, one business person actually has taught us that be careful, there will ah. be so many reforms, there will be so many directives, but no direction. Okay. So as a policy maker, I want to set the direction mm -hmm. very clear, mm. uh, very particularly what the present government wants to do mm -hmm. uh, in terms of education reform. Okay. I think number one, we need to know that there are so many good things happening. All right. Okay. okay. But in terms of uh, direction, mm. now we need to think what is going on in the world at the moment. Mm. For instance, uh, 
in the context of ASEAN. Mm. Uh, we are now part of uh, one single community. Mm -hmm. So the tool, the language we have to use to communicate with our neighbors, mm. uh, to access mm -hmm. uh, knowledge, mm. uh, is obvious, English. So yeah. our direction in this present government mm. is to upgrade mm. the standards of English. Yes. If we have time, we can go into details All about right. that. Okay. We need to think about curriculum. Mm. Curriculum also needs changing. Mm. In, again, in the environment that the world is changing so much, mm. uh, that, and, and the way it's taught, when you want to reform curriculum, it's, it's not the curriculum as such that is the most important. Mm -hmm. It's the coherence, the alignment between exactly. curriculum. When you change curriculum, mm. you need to change textbooks. Exactly. You need to change a teacher's training. Mm. You need to change the teaching methods. Mm -hmm. You need to change the assessment process. You need to change the incentive. You have to ask yourself, why do teachers who have been, if you like... For 30 years yes, <laughs> so used to the old ways. <laughs> uh, what, mm -hmm. what are the incentives for them to change oh, yeah. into new ways? Right. And can you do it? Mm -hmm. uh, so, and then the teachers, the quality of teachers, the recruitment of teachers. You probably need to know that in the next 10 years, we will, we will have over 200 teachers retiring out of the systems. Is that supposed to be good? Yeah, in a way. No, it's probably not good for those who retire, well, but well, for us, it's uh, an opportunity. Put opportunity. it this way, it's an opportunity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you have to Hungry. make sure that recruitment mm. is robust mm -hmm. to get the best and the brightest teachers yeah. in the system. Mm -hmm. That's one thing we can, the direction of government is very, very clear, mm -hmm. the way we want to do that. Okay. Otherwise, you know, we are talking uh -huh. piecemeal, if you like, uh -huh. here and there, uh -huh. projects, 10 projects, 20 mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. not the way I work. Uh -huh. So, uh, Your Excellency, uh, we have to run down a little bit. When you touch on the, the student with the English, we yes. talk about uh, the, the, the moment, we had the change of everything. Yes. So, about the timing. So, can you run down? Okay, we'll let's start off with the student first. Okay. So the student time of work, time of study has okay. to be changed. Are you are you starting okay. from that? Why don't we do this? You know, because I've mentioned three points. One okay. is the English yes. language. Uh, the number two, curriculum uh -huh. reform, and number three, teachers, teachers. recruitment. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, or, or you can call it teachers development. Develop. Okay. So basically, in the areas of. Okay. Let's start with English. Yes. And sir. then I'll answer you about mm. students because okay. it's probably the most important thing mm. as well. Mm. If you think, if you mm. ask, if you go to, say, some rural areas and you find that you have to ask yourself, is there a necessity or any motivation for rural children to learn English? No, mm. they don't have to. You know, you keep talking about ASEAN, but, but they but, don't have to. Yeah. But, but, mm. so it's a government job to, to, to make them, them realize the importance of English exactly. to motivate them. Exactly. So we have for the first step before mm -hmm. we change uh, the English teaching, mm -hmm. we need to change the motivation. Mm -hmm. So our government, our ministry now have various campaigns. You may see a lot of celebrities coming out on a, a, cl a clip uh, called I Speak English, uh, uh, Pur Better for Better uh, Life. Better life yeah. uh, and there are various projects uh. Uh, to motivate children ah. uh, to learn. Is mm. that enough? You have to tailor mate mm. to appropriate level of development. Mm -hmm. Young children mm -hmm. may need to be motivated through games, mm -hmm. uh, through activities. Yes. Parents, Parents must not forget them. Exactly. Now, number two, then we need to move on to think about, uh, we have about 40,000 English mm -hmm teachers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in, to teach in the basic education mm -hmm. department, basic okay. all schools, uh -huh. about 30,000 schools. We you need you to mean talk about the government sector? The government the sector. Right? I'm not too worried about the private the sector. Yeah. They're very good they at could, looking mm -hmm. after themselves. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah, they should be, and yes. in fact, my <laughs> policies don't interfere with those who are already good. Mm -hmm. You okay. get in that way. Uh -huh. Don't get in that way. Okay. You put your resources to those who really need 
them. Mm. So number two, then you change the way teachers are trained. Mm. Perhaps you don't know that at the moment, at the moment, 350 teachers are in boot camp in Pattaya for a very intensive training course consisting of 37 days of spending time with uh, teachers who are foreigners, uh, who, who we have selected. Uh -huh. uh, they spend time from 9 to 9 with social uh, activities and so on, intensively. These teachers are already fluent wow. in English, uh -huh. but they learn the confidence. I was there yesterday. I they learn the confidence. They learn the methodology, the new methods of teaching oh. young students, how to motivate them, how to teach them more effectively. Mm. And we have selected out of those 350, mm. at least now 28 teachers who will be on par with our supervisors from abroad. Yeah. So we change the way teachers are trained. Mm. Okay. We now use technology. Have you heard of a new app? provided to the government by the Ministry of Education mm -hmm. called mm -hmm. Echo English. Echo English, yes, yes. Now it's number one uh, on the top chart. Oh, really? Uh, Good. Congratulations. Uh, yes. <laughs> the way we use, <laughs> we use the, the best voice technology. Mm -hmm. Put, look, education, when you use technology, uh, the user experience is yes. the most important. Mm -hmm. You're not just putting contents on the apps and then let people access and mm -hmm. navigate their ways. Mm -hmm. You need to make it very interesting. Mm -hmm. you know, this this app will be giving you feedback when you try to speak English uh, in simple ways, through dialogues, to common situations that you have to use English. Mm. And then you can learn yourself whether you pronounce the words correctly. Mm. So it's highly popular because it's almost it's free gift that's mm. provided mm. by mm. some agencies, a foundation of virtuous youth mm. and also another uh, private organization mm -hmm. called N Concept. Mm -hmm. So together we work with the ministry yes. and we, we have rolled it out to general population and we are going now to for the next step to have this for every student and the teachers can track their progress mm -hmm. and student. Every single student in Thailand will have access to this sort of app, standard based, not just, but then purely tailored to educational needs. Mm -hmm. And yeah. another thing, very uh -huh. important, we have also created s spaces. Mm. Do you know that young children in wow. primary schools uh -huh. at the moment only receive one hour of teaching of English well, per it week? It went like this when I was young itself. One hour. <laughs> one, now. Not, even, not even one hour, I got it. One yeah. hour. Andrew uh, Biggs has uh, calculated and he has, Andrew, he has written yeah. on, uh, on, uh, uh, on uh, newspapers uh, that uh, we will need 300 years to be fluent. So I was joking with Andrew and said, Andrew, we believe in reincarnation. <laughs> but anyhow, okay. we have now changed this uh -huh. to one hour per day. That good. means 200 hours Very good. per week, Interesting. Hey, per year, mm -hmm. for academic year. Mm -hmm. Now, then there's an argument. Do we have enough teachers? No, I welcome every subject to come and teach in these slots. Mm -hmm. You can teach PE, physical mm -hmm. exercise, mm -hmm. using English. Yeah. You know, sit down, stand up, yep, yeah. and you yeah. can use, you know, uh, various subjects. Uh -huh. You know, instead of teaching health education, uh -huh. uh, you can use the word food, instead of ahan, uh, you know, all kinds of things. Make English mm -hmm. alive and lively mm -hmm. uh, yes. again. Uh, and so we are doing a kind of a, a full uh, mm -hmm. circle mm -hmm. of uh, every aspect of mm -hmm. upgrading English. Yes. Okay. This yes. is one aspect of all English. Right. Mm -hmm. And be curriculum and, and, and teacher. Mm -hmm. I, I just wonder whether you have any just go ahead. questions just, yeah, or you want me no, to no. carry on? No, no, you just carry on because I will come back to, to it a little okay. bit on that. Let's talk about uh, teachers mm -hmm. training in general. I'm talking about subjects. Mm -hmm. There are about uh, 400,000 mm -hmm. 400, teachers. Half of, the country. Yeah, half of the number will retire in the next 10 years. Okay, that means we have the opportunity mm. to recruit the mm. best and the able, mm -hmm. the, the brightest. 
ones to come. Let me interrupt though, this yeah. part of it because uh, we normally have a high ways of uh, selection, family, friends, so yes. authority. Uh, so how you can you, yes. can you have you done something to think of this? Yes, unfortunately, uh, I don't have my own agenda here. So. If the practices mm. are unacceptable, oh, I wouldn't give in. It should be very no, no, I'm not. You, very but it, again, you need to take mm. into consideration the way yeah. they think. All right. But universally, mm. every country, like Singapore, mm. South Korea, Finland, mm. every country that is successful in their education system mm. has one, one, the most single important factor is mm. teachers' recruitment. Exactly. Why? That's you a, see, that's a basic. In the budget of uh, 15 billion mm. US dollars that mm. we are now spending, yeah. only 1% is dedicated to teachers' training. Mm. That's okay. Is, that's too low. This, even though you have the best training sessions, say in two hours you can change the teachers like that, mm -hmm. you mm. cannot use 1% mm. to change 400,000 teachers. Mm -hmm. What you really need is to prioritize your budget, mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, you need to recruit right from start. Yeah. Exactly. What does education system consist yes. of? Uh -huh. Teachers, teachers, students, students that's yes. all. Mm -hmm. So you need mm -hmm. to recruit them basically right. Mm -hmm. The right people to do the right job. That is the most true. important in any management. So, now we keep moaning about the quality of recruits, the new recruitment. So therefore, for this government, again, for the first time, because we have now a clear policy for mm. STEM education, mm -hmm. you probably don't know that every time we recruit new teachers for science and maths, it's very hard to get those who pass the exams. So we are short of teachers mm. in this field. So for our government. Now we open this up for the new recruits. So anybody who wants to be teachers, who have, who have degrees in science, technology, engineering, and language, languages, yeah. they can come and apply to be teachers. Oh, very good. Okay? Of course, they need to do the teaching, teaching methodology, mm. the, uh, how to be good teachers, but those could be developed and learned. Uh, in the system, mm -hmm. and they could do a degree on weekends for that. Mm -hmm. We call graduate degree a diploma mm -hmm. for teaching. Uh, mm -hmm. Then they'll be full teachers, oh, but yeah. they can now apply mm -hmm. to be teachers. They can apply, but they would love to apply, but uh, what do they get? Yeah, what is those, the you know, you know, those who graduate from sciences, engineering, mm -hmm. if they choose the teaching profession, yeah. uh -huh. these are special people. Uh -huh. so they're not, definitely not doing mm -hmm. it for money. Mm. Because but the money, the pay is probably lower than that mm -hmm. they would get mm -hmm. from their own, you know, speci Spe specialty. specialties. Yes. So therefore, uh, the those who want to come, we need to embrace them. Of course, they have to do exactly the same as those who graduate um, from course. teaching colleges. Mm -hmm. So they come, they sit exactly the same exams. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you're good teachers and sit exams of subjects. Mm. And so they, in a way, they're mm. not starting at the same level playing field, mm. Mm. but they, uh, they, they, they're now welcomed and mm. we embrace them. Okay. So that's, that's now, did you the already? policy. Yes, the policy, yes. And the curriculum. Mm. The last. The last. The mm. curriculum, you really need to think that in the world now, we are teaching kids or students fewer things, but in great depth okay because information is everywhere mm. you cannot bombard or put ev all information in the student's head and after all now they can access through Google you better use your time as teachers mm. to identify the most important things to make uh, them understand the concepts in a deeper way mm. that's the trend mm -hmm. I'll tell you one example okay. you know young Thai kids primary uh. one Okay. They start with eight subjects. That it's is the only country 
that bombard our kids with eight subjects. Mm -hmm. In Singapore, they start with two subjects, oh. numeracy, literacy. Really? Basically, yeah. you, have, I, you know, we want you to be able to read well. Mm. We want you be, to be able to think about numbers and mathematics mm. in an elementary way uh, well. So, and then we build you up with uh, the knowledge around yourself, the world, that means science, mm. and the interaction with people getting on social studies. Social studies are no longer mm. taught, it's just purely as a subject in classroom. Let's talk it's about punctuality. Punctuality. You know, it's no okay. use talking, lecturing them about you should be punctual, you should be on time. Okay. When okay. you, the teachers, mm. are not on time. <laughs> so, uh, therefore, right. th these are hidden curriculum. Mm. You need to think about this. Mm. So, we are restructuring this. Mm and giving mm. more hours to mm. languages, mm. particular foreign languages like English or Chinese or, mm. or what not. Mm -hmm. mm. And once you change the curriculum, okay. you need to change the way the textbooks are written. Yes, okay? this is very true. Don't rely on technology. Mm. Textbooks still count and they count a lot. Mm. Okay? And then you have to change the way uh, teachers trainings. Mm foundation knowledge, make sure that they know their subjects well. Mm. I've been around the country, people, teachers want pedagogy, basically want training in uh, teaching methodology, but oh. they know it already. Uh, so exactly. what they lack is foundational knowledge. Mm. So if you ask them about evolution mm. in, to a biologist teacher, biology teacher. Blank. Most, yeah, blank. You want to know the scores of, of, of the teachers? Of the blank teachers? My, one of my kind of tentative policy mm. Has, mm. Has, not gone, has not gone down uh. well. Yeah. When I say teachers should sit exactly the same exams mm. as mm. students, <laughs> to the cheers of students, <laughs> but not very popular with mm. teachers. Mm. Although we know the scores of ONET mm. in a small experiment for teachers, mm. the scores are not higher than those of students. Mm -hmm. oh, very pity that uh, our time is so short. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, but let us in, uh, conclude this. So, yeah. w in your uh, in your uh, management yeah. uh, direction of uh, the thing that you're doing now, so we have to be concerned on the uh, on what curriculum on uh, on the what, a student, a teacher, yeah. a curriculum. curriculum. These are the very important things that the Thailand walking forward for the better. better. These are basics. Interesting. So uh, we need you to come back, uh, Minister, yes, um, because uh, uh, well, there's a lot to talk about, yes. and this is real good. And 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 for those who are watching this program, well, you definitely want to know this because uh, the Thailand will be having uh, numbers of uh, employees uh, yeah. to, to be more in the qualified one. All yes. right. So thank you so much for being here, and so I do Adi hope Kap, to see you. you again. Yes, thank you, sir. Me too. Thailand Today would like to thank Deputy Education Minister Dr. Tirakiet Jaren Setasin for explaining the rationality and implementation process of the education, which are expected to give many benefits to Thai students in all fields of study. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yotas. Hope to see you again next time. Sawadee